This exhibition is by Zainab Ujalo, titled My Street Economics. What she had done over the course of two years was go around to different cities and, st um, and states all around the country, all around Nigeria, capturing women, you know, on and about, you know, making a living or in their environment. And so she came up with this exhibition that celebrates these women. The freelance writer, scriptwriter, and playwright combines her literary talent with photography. With each image, there's a, sort of like a text that accompanies each image. So what she had done was also interview this women, sort of get um, their take on their trade, and then also sort of, but then she had translated it into her own way because she's a poet, so she translated it, um, and so you see each image has a really beautiful text around it. The images show women engaging in different endeavors, with the artist writing out what she imagines could be their thoughts at that point. And from the looks and the words, one could be tempted to believe she's spot on. The curator of this exhibition shed more light on this and the other works being exhibited. In the other space, um, it, it's, we sort of like continued in the transition of, um, in, in showcasing women. And so you see um, a, 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 a painting of Yoruba women on a festive day. Women are indeed a very special breed. And who is our artist for this week? Let me drop a hint. She's a woman that exudes beauty and brains. Well, that's a bit vague, but hey, here it is. Zulu Shafola was born on June the 22nd, 1935, in the Seluku Delta State, southern part of Nigeria. Her parents went against popular opinion at the time, and in short, she received the best in education, which began at the federal government primary school Asaba, Delta State. She went on to do her undergraduate studies at the Virginia Union University, Richmond, Tennessee, USA. She also built an enviable academic career that spanned from the Virginia Union University to the University of Ibadan, or your state, and then to the Department of Performing Arts at the University of Ilorin. Her literary works are timeless, and she is widely celebrated and recognized as one of the female forerunners of African literature. As a result, she became the recipient of numerous awards, including the Fulbright Scholarship for the State University of New York at Buffalo, New York in 1998. She passed on in September 1995 in Washington, D.C., USA. You can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms. For our parting shot, let's quickly take a look at these works of art done by Dada Adebuyejo. We don't want the men to feel left out, do we? Yes, he put up this one on Facebook. There are four of them. The first is called Peacock, which is an appreciation of the greatness and beauty of creation. The medium is mixed media, mainly electronic logic board and components cut into various irregular shapes and mounted on board, some painted with oil. Eye vision shows a man full of ideas and vision, struggling to see them through. The piece is 2D, that's two-dimensional relief, with irregular shapes cut into pieces and mounted to express his thought, done with electronic motherboards and titanium, as well as some other components as well. And this next one is Wazobia, the medium is done on wood on board, showing the three major tribes in Nigeria, that's Yoruba, Hausa, and Igbo, in a merry mood. They are playing their traditional musical instruments. Praise Him, also a 2D work, but this one is abstract, made of wood and different shapes mounted on board, retaining the natural pigments of the shaped wood. Let me know your thoughts about those works of art done by Dada. Tweet at Melinda Akinlami or drop a line on our Facebook page, Art House on Channels TV. I'm looking forward to reading those comments. Till then, have a wonderful 
and fabulous month. Mm -hmm.